The Chase star Dara Ennis has confessed he would like to do more television work but has ruled out an appearance on Strictly Come Dancing due to a deficiency. The ITV star admitted his rhythm is so bad he can't even clap along with himself. Speaking exclusively to Express.co.uk in advance of the launch of his first book The Body, 10 Things You Should Know he emphatically said, I can't do Strictly. People say everyone can dance but no, it's not possible for me to dance. It's like I have a deficiency in my mind, he admitted. I have no fear of crowds or anything like that but I have no sense of rhythm. I can't even clap along with myself. This was proven true when his wife wanted to slightly modify the wedding dance they had taken classes to perfect. I memorized the dance. Classic me I used my memory. I memorized where to put my feet based on the words to the song. That was the only way I could do the dance, he recalled. Then on the morning of the wedding, my wife said, no, we can't do that, because in the dress I can't do all the same steps. We have to change it. I said no, I couldn't be flexible, he admits. So Strictly is definitely 100% out for me. It'd be willing to talk to other reality shows and do other programs. It'd be happy to do them give them a try. Although I would probably be weird in the jungle because I'm an entomologist, so it'd probably be in there studying the insects, he laughed. Aside from reality TV Dara would love to present science programs but for grown-ups as he feels there is a gap in the market for that kind of programming at the moment. He'd love to do more TV, he says. I think we need to have more science programming, not for children. It's great for children, but that's a big sort of gap in the market. There isn't one at the minute and there's a big gap in programming in the UK and Ireland, he ponders citing Tomorrow's World as the kind of program he would like to make. I've pitched a few things, but nothing's quite caught. But that's what I'd love to do. What I really want to be is David Attenborough, because H has always been my scientific hero. But he'd love it, he enthused. In the meantime, he is kept busy preparing to record a new season of The Chase and promoting his first book. It's a science book, he concedes. But it's not for scientists. It's for normal people who aren't into the technical stuff but want to know a little bit about their bodies and how it works, all from a scientific perspective. So it uses normal, accessible language and it explains everything from how we grow from a single cell into a human, through how we get our energy into ourselves, what our immune system does, and all the way down to what happens to our body after we die. So it tells the whole life story, but all in an accessible way, he said.